Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Channel VK. My name is Brian. Mind the sunglasses inside. My eyes are really red, playing too much Batman. But welcome to another review. This one is for the new Thundercat mini album, The Beyond, Where the Giants Roam. Thundercat is a singer-songwriter, bassist extraordinaire, and this is his brand new album. And his last album came out in 2013 called Apocalypse. And to be honest, this is my first time actually listening to a solo Thundercat project. I know everybody has raved about his past projects. But to be honest, I've kind of heard a lot of Thundercat over the past couple months. He was on the last Flying Lotus album, which Flying Lotus has a big hand in producing here. He was on the last Kamazi Washington album. And he was featured on the Kendrick Lamar album, To Pimp a Butterfly. So I sort of knew what he was about. Not necessarily vocally or if there was anything outside of the realm of what he does best. But to be honest, I was very surprised with this album. But to be honest, I was very disappointed because it was only 16 minutes. Because I think for the first four tracks, I liked this album a whole lot. And then I think the last two tracks, I wanted more of it. So I think that's why this album didn't really get me so amped. Because... A lot of these songs ended way too quickly, but at the same time, what we got here is a very short listen, and for the first couple songs, I was enjoying the hell out of this. And, speaking of someone like Kamazi Washington, he's featured on here, along with Flying Lotus, and Herbie Hancock, just to name a few of the guest features on this album. We start off with Hard Times, very eerie, slow build, some nice keys that sort of slowly intros this album and then we get the song for the dead i really liked thundercat's vocals on here i also liked you know the find yo way home like i thought that was really cool them changes which is probably my favorite track on this whole entire album has this very up-tempo bass probably the catchiest track on here and then there's some nice added pianos later on in the track and this really does stand out among sort of the more atmospheric and sort of moodier and eerier tracks on this whole album and then we get followed up by the longest track on this album another one of my favorites lone wolf and cub some great snares and some great drums with the bass and i love the vocalization of the title you know the lone wolf fan cub Wolf and Cub, Cub and Wolf, like I thought that was really cool. But then for the last three minutes or two and a half minutes or so, it goes into this crazy musical tirade and some great bass and some other stuff added in there. But like I said, the final track, Where the Giants Roam, I think was a little bit too short for my taste. And the track before at that moment was also kind of just like, it would have worked better if there was maybe more tracks on here or if the tracks were longer. But I think overall, for what this was, I really enjoyed it. I think it's a very short listen. I got a lot out of those first four tracks musically, and I was very intrigued, as well as vocally. But this definitely makes me want to go back and listen to his previous albums, because if this is what I got from a short album, I definitely think there's a lot to be desired and a lot more to be excited for for one of his longer projects. So, But what do you guys think of this mini album? What do you guys think of some of the tracks on here? Leave that all in the comments below. If you like, please like and please subscribe if you want more music reviews as well as some movie and television reviews. Original stuff hopefully coming soon. Raw discussions here and there. If you have any albums I should try and listen to and review, put those in the comments below. Yes, I know if you're watching this, Vince Staples and Miguel are going to be coming. Don't worry. But yeah, Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, excuse the sunglasses, but thank you for tuning in to Channel BK. Peace out, guys.